Okay. A prior video, prior two videos, excuse me, I showed you how to make one of my own light mod inventions, one of the best that I've ever created, and it's just epic. I call this the honeycomb ring. You've already seen that in the prior video. Uses 30 degree control of the lighting, but it also gives you specific type of lighting by adding a conical reflector to the inside of this thing, which took me five minutes to make, and it cost zero dollars. I not only have perfect control of the lighting, but I have perfect control of the lighting that is beautiful perfect control of lighting because you can have perfect control over lighting and that is one of the uh, the upper echelons of learning um, professional photography is not just blasting something with light and exposing it properly which anybody can do although it takes time to learn even how to do that when you have control of the lighting excuse me proper exposure you can add fill light or you can do a stroboscopic uh, photography and you become a strobist and you learn how to use or own a studio strobe, how to use a speed light using wireless triggers off camera, it's like, well, that, that's great. That gives you a certain level of satisfaction. There are levels of photography. One is learning how to control your camera. Learning that ISO is not sensitivity. ISO is not exposure. ISO is applied gain. ISO has not a damn thing to do with light. People are like, what? I had people argue with me, and every one of them came back, you know, I did some studying, and you're absolutely right. ISO doesn't have jack crap to do with exposure. It has nothing to do with sensitivity. Yeah, you learn what your camera is, what it does, how to manipulate it, and that takes a while, too. Then people are afraid of using a speed light. So, well, and then they learn that you can't stick a speed light on the top of the camera. If you're a photojournalist, who gives a crap, you know? It's for print, right? You know, you've got a, a picture of uh, some you know, celebrity that's nude in their back, you know, whatever it is. doesn't matter. It's strictly for recording information. You're learning that the light that sits on top of your camera, even though there's a hot shoe on top of your camera, that's not where the hell you stick a speed light, unless you're a photojournalist. You know, a lot of photojournalists know that that's not where beautiful lighting is. And it's not there. So then you learn to get your damn speed light off your damn camera. Whether that's with wireless triggers, or uh, SC-17 flash cable, some sort of flash cable. Then you learn that now that you know how to expose properly and you know how to use your camera and you know how to blast something with light, boom! You realize, oh crap! Everything is properly exposed and everything is properly illuminated. I've learned how to master my camera, mostly. Still learning, but know how to do it, right? That's what your people are thinking to yourself. Okay, now I know how to use off-camera flash. Okay, that was hard enough. That's the second layer. So now I can properly expose my camera. I can add another thing to improve my photography, especially when it's dark outside or, you know, you're in an alleyway, you want to add some light. I know how to add speed light. I know how to add illumination. Whether it's in studio, whether it's a speed light, indoor, outdoor, studio, outdoor, doesn't matter. You know how to do that. Great. Then you learn that the composition of your shots suck. They, they look like snapshots. They're perfectly exposed, perfectly illuminated, perfectly in focus, you hope. Snapshots. Then you learn, damn, I need to start spot metering. Or I need to start learning what the hell to expose for. I need to learn the zone system. For, the zone system is perfectly applicable to, uh, to uh, modern uh, digital photography. It's 100% applicable. It's actually more applicable now than it was back then, arguably. Back then, of course, you had a lot more variables with film and pushing stuff. But you still, you still have issues with pushing stuff. You know, because ISO doesn't have a damn thing to do with exposures. You can still push things, especially if an ISO invariant camera, you know, in the Lightroom. So pushing stuff still exists. You're just using it digitally and rather than uh, photographically with the film and paper. Then you learn that it's not just about lighting, but having absolute control over that lighting. Well, you know, I can blast the hell out of something. That's great. But now my pictures have no definition. You ever seen those portrait shots where, like, they got a studio strobe here, a studio strobe here, a studio strobe here, but everything is just, wah! You know, you can't tell where the hell a person's shoulders begin and the background starts. It all is just one thing. It's like, well, all pictures are two-dimensional. You print them out, yeah, it's two-dimensional. The point is, is the same point as an illusionist. An illusionist takes advantages of the human senses. You want to make a compositionally beautiful shot, you can't just blast it with light. You have to have lighting but proper control over that light. What are you going to illuminate for? What are you going to expose for? 
You might expose for one thing and illuminate for another, if that's what it compositionally calls for in the creativity of your mind, because photography doesn't occur in the damn camera. You buy the most expensive camera in the world, it doesn't know a damn thing about how to take a picture. Every camera wants to turn everything into mush. Every camera is designed to turn everything into baby poo. 18% gray, just sludge. Every camera is designed to do that. Your mission is to tell the camera, screw you. I'm going to tell you what the hell to expose for. I want to expose for this highlighter. I want to expose for that shadow. I'm going to do this. Lighting control. You have to learn control on the camera. Then you're going to have to learn how to add lighting. But before you can learn how to control that lighting, you first need to learn how to add it. And then you control it. Um, just using this as an example of mine, my little uh, honeycomb invention, which uses, uh, by the way, I'll show you the front of it here. It uses a 30 degree honeycomb. You can see my face? Now you can't. Let's take a look at something that is twice as selective since it's 15 degree. See my ugly face? Now you can't, right? What I did is I added a conical reflector to this that fits on the inside here. So the speed light hits this conical reflector, bounces around, then it comes out of this donut ring, and then it actually envelops the subject matter like a torus, a donut. So I've got A, proper exposure using my lighting. B, I have a layer of control using the 30 degree grid. Well, that doesn't mean the shot's gonna come out perfect. What if I make perfectly controlled lighting, also perfectly controlled beautiful lighting. And by adding this and turning it into controlled 30 degree ring light illumination, then I have controlled light and then I have beautiful light. That's not saying it's applicable for every situation, obviously so. For portraiture, it's incredible. I done a lot of testing with this mod. It costs zero dollars and it attaches Look how hard it is to attach this sucker. This costs zero dollars. It's just a conical reflector. My little invention. This is a standard 30 degree honeycomb grid from Paul C. Buff. You see the control I have in the lighting? See my face? Now you can't. Lighting control. So now that you know how to have, uh, create the proper lighting, create the proper exposure, create the proper lighting exposure, then you learn how to control it. And now that you learn how to control it, then you need to think about how do I make it beautiful control? Because you can have perfectly controlled lighting and the shot can still come out looking like crap, right? Certainly so. Anyway, think about that. Everything I said is undeniable and irrefutable by anyone. Doesn't matter whether you like me or not, I only have to be right. I only have to be helpful. I'm not in a popularity contest. Okay? So, it's about being helpful. It's about being right. It's not about being liked. I know this is kind of social media, but I'm not in a popularity contest, okay? Bye.